In this tutorial, we will learn how to retrieve data from a JSON file. For the first, we will try to take the JSON category. This is the original URL of the JSON category. And this is a query parameter that can be used. Let's try it. Okay, let's start. First, we must activate the project to be used. Click the active button. Next, we do is create a new page. We just fill in the page title, while the other fields are left to fall. Finally, we click save changes. Okay, next, we will connect the menu to the page. Add a new menu. Then edit the menu. Write the name of the label, for the menu type, please select, go to internal link and for the page please select the page to be linked. And click save changes. Next, we will run the JSON scraping add-ons. Click the add-ons menu. Then, in the JSON scraping section click the choose button. Then complete the following fields. Override the page. Make sure you select the page that will be used to target the code that will be created. This will result in the old code being overwritten. So, please be careful. Also, write the page title will be displayed. For JSON URL for list item, this is a data source that uses the JSON format and allowed cross domain before we write it. Should we make sure that JSON appears perfectly? Then, click the Save Change button. Now, we will create variables for layout. To help us write variables, we can click the Get All Variable button. Then write the names of the variables needed. Variable is ID. Search by variable. Click the Save Change button. If these variables have been completed, we will test using an emulator. Come on, we update Cordova plugin in Ionic Native that was previously installed. Let's speed up.
Finally, we will run the emulator. Apparently, the emulator is running. Let's see if it works. Looks like it's okay, but we need to improve the layout used. Let's edit the previous settings again. We will change the layout used. This is the column type needed to make a layout. For this one, we think it's finished. Let's add another new page. Same as before. And we also need to add a menu. Then we connect to that page.
It looks like the menu items are messy, let's arrange. In order to easily arrange menus, we change the layout to a list view. Now, we will run JSON scraping add-ons fill in the same properties as before. Choose the target page. Write the page title. Write JSON URL for item list. Write down the variables that will be displayed in the layout. For autocomplete help, press the Get All Variables button. Let's test by restarting the emulator, press the control key and C on the keyboard then type Y and enter. Let's try to improve the layout used.
If something doesn't work properly, try restarting the emulator again. It looks like it's okay, let's make the relationship between pages. Okay, for pages that will be targeted by the link, the JSON URL must be changed to a dynamic URL. For URL for single items, let's try it. Let's try testing the URL parameter for the item it. If the single URL works it can put it into the add-on settings, remember for value replaced with id. Next, JSON for listing items, for example dynamic URLs based on category parameters.
Now, we can connect the page. Let we edit the settings and change the single layout to link. Link has been running properly. Thank you for watching.